The salamander seen here is using its throat muscles to breathe. Using contractions of these muscles around the throat, it is forcibly drawing air into its lungs and expelling them. This is inefficient, and these types of lungs don't work very well. Many amphibians perform a third of their respiration through their skin rather than their lungs, and some amphibians have lost their lungs altogether and simply breathe through their skin. Ancestral reptiles improved this anatomical arrangement by elongating the ribs and having a joint to the breastbone or sternum. Because of this, movements of the ribs as the muscles between the ribs contract and relax uh, changes the volume of the thorax and allows reptiles, birds, and mammals to breathe by moving their ribs. This is a far more efficient way of uh, bringing in air, and thus uh, these amniotes were better adapted for terrestrial life than the amphibians. There were other effects as well. For example, now that the skin was not used uh, to breathe, the skin could be covered by drier scales and then eventually feathers and hair rather than the moist uh, skin that amphibians uh, maintain in order to breathe.